Hello there, welcome back. Uh, today we are going to be playing and ranking Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone for the Game Boy Color, which uh, released in 2001 by Electronic Arts. Um, we are going to now be playing, uh, continuing to play every Game Boy Color game ever made, but also ranking them, or rating them I should say as well, on a scale of 1 to 10. I haven't been doing that yet, and I think I, I, think I will start to give you a score out of 10 to let you know uh, how good or bad I find the game. So, uh, let's jump into Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, uh, or Philosopher's Stone for all of the uh, smart people across the, across the ocean. Um, unused file. Dear Mr. Potter, you've been accepted to Hogwarts School of Wiz Witchcraft and Wizardry from Dumbledore. Uh, welcome to Diagon Alley, Harry. Never seen a place like this before. That's because there are none like it. This is all Lavender's wand shop, as ye can see. By the sign, I'll go in and see uh, to ye getting a wand. Ye can explore a bit if ye like. Um, so I'll let you know right off the hop here. I don't, I've seen the, the Harry Potter movies. I don't know everything, all the details like some people. So forgive me if I, uh, screw something up. Um, I do remember, uh, him getting the wand in the beginning, which is where we are now. Uh, there's only one wand for every wizard. We'll have to test a few before we find yours. Try this first. Um, so far the game looks okay for the Game Boy Color. Not terrible looking, but, um, obviously not the right one for you. Try another. I'm not going to read every piece of dialogue here either. I'm going to get the gist for you. So feel free to read if you'd like, but still not working. Must need a very special wand. Try this one made with holly with a phoenix feather core. Okay, well, that appears to be the right one. Uh, we found just the right wand for you, Harry. Um, okay, Harry Potter. Flippendo and Vermilius Uno, which will protect you. In magical encounters. I can't pay for it though. Hagrid has arranged for 119 sickles to be charged from your account at Grignots. Thank you for stopping by. I'm sure you'll put your wand to good use. We received Harry with wand. Thank you. Oh no, Harry Potter. Thank you. What a weird thing to say. Received your wand. Cast spells. Okay. All right. Oh, who's this? Um, you're Harry Potter? Yeah, well, you are, aren't you? Finally going to Hogwarts. Does everyone know everything about me? Uh, this is going to be great, Harry Potter at Hogwarts. Is there anything I can do for you? Do you need any famous witch and wizard cards? I don't know, what are they? Oh, they're the best. They're cards you collect and trade. You can make combinations that create magic. Sounds better than playing solitaire. I used to do that a lot. Hilarious, because he was, uh locked away. Um, I have a lot of spare cards. I'd be honored to give you some different decks you can collect. Okay, now, I'll tell you, I hope this isn't what I think it is. Choose your deck. Justice Picklewick deck, Gulliver Pokeby's deck, Gregory the Smarmy's deck, and Merwin the Malicious deck. Definitely some Pokemon vibes here. This is the early 2000s, so there's definitely some uh, Pokemon hype going on. So this whole like choose your, you know, red, blue, green, there's purple too, but like, you know, I feel like they're definitely, uh... let's go with uh, Gulliver Pokeby's deck, the Squirtle of the decks. Uh, this deck looks interesting. There are two more things, you know, okay. A thing to hold my card collection. So I'm hoping this isn't what I think it is. I, I don't like when games don't know what to do with themselves. So they create their own like card game system. Like, just let me shoot, fight stuff and shoot my wand. I don't want to learn a whole card game. Because at the time, like, if you wanted to, like, get into a trading card game, there was, like, a Pokemon trading card game, there was, uh, like, Magic the Gathering, and Yu-Gi-Oh! was also all very well established. So if I want to play a card game, I'd play one of those card games that are already well established. I don't want to learn some, like, weird... We'll see, though. Let's give it a chance. Let's not be too negative here. Found some famous Witch and Wizards cards, got some more cards, got some more cards, got some more, okay. Very generous, thank you for all the cards. To view my portfolio, press start, yeah, okay. All right, so we may be looking at a, uh, a card game here, but let's, let's find out. This dude's talking to me and just walks, straight decree, okay. Broom store, let's get a broom. Hello, young man, are you a first year student? I will be soon. You know, I can't sell to you, of course, but look around. 
Okay, so I can't get her. I think that doesn't the Nimbus 2000 isn't that what Harry gets in the movie? So we can't get that yet, obviously. Let's go into the Owl store. Welcome to Ilops Owl Emporium. What year? I don't know. First or second? Not in Hogwarts. Okay, well we can't sell it to you because you're not. I found another card in the owl. Cool. Defeat weaker monsters now and you'll defeat stronger monsters later. Let's look in the garbage can. Nothing. Potions. Potion shop. I don't have any... Okay, so I don't have any money, so I can't buy potions yet, obviously. No problem, no problem. Who are you? You're him, I mean, okay. He knows who I am. I wasn't even talking to you. And is this another potion shop I can't buy? Yeah, okay. No money to buy a cauldron. Well, it appears that there's like a lot... It's a pretty... There's a lot to do here. There's a lot going on with items and stuff like that, so... Right off the hop, it's nice that this isn't one of those games where you start it and... What's that? You're about to encounter a magical encounter. You're about to, sorry, about to enter a magical encounter. And have several options. Spells let you cast spells. Cards. Okay, let's see. Let's see what this is all about here. Okay, so we're fighting a rat. I have SP and MP, which I'm guessing is my health and magic. Flipendo Uno. So that's my basic attack. Nine damage. Takes three. Vermilius Uno. So that costs two magic points. We killed a rat. And we jump for joy. Okay, so already I'm happy just from that because now I know it's not like a, like a card game necessarily. I don't know what the cards do yet, but I'm glad it's an actual, like, it's sort of like a, a Final Fantasy style RPG sort of deal. So let's go into the Band-Aid store and talk to... This lady. I can see that you're hurt. Would you like me to heal you? Yes. What do I charge? There is no charge. Not the best business model. So I guess this is going to be uh, the Poké Center of the Harry Potter game, which I'm good with. Uh, another store I probably can't buy things at. A bunch of people walking around that I'm sure are going to give me just like generic information. I will check it all out later, but... Oh, here we go, here we go. Something written on the door. Enter, stranger, but take heed. Okay. Okay. If you ever get lost, press select to bring up a message about your current location. Let's... Tr you are in the bank. Okay. All the little goblins working at the bank. Here we go, here we go. Hello, Harry. Good morning, Mr. Potter. My name is Grip. Was it Grip Hook, I think it said? Um, we'd like to see Harry's vault now. You got the keys. There's the matter of you know what we talked about before. All seems to be in order. Please follow me. Okay, into the vault we go. Stay together, please. Come on, Harry. Whoop. Hagrid, wait for me. Oh, that's how they get. Okay, so we're in like a dungeon now, and they needed Harry to trip to give a reason for me to go alone, I guess. And we are facing these little blobs. I guess I should probably fight here a little bit. Get some experience points. Two bats. Shoot fire. That didn't kill him? What the hell? Take four damage. Take six damage. So what do the cards do? You haven't collected all the famous witch and wizard cards for this combination. But this one I have. Summon Umbrella. Whoa. The cards have given you an umbrella. Does that... What's an umbrella? Does it... Okay. Let's finish this bat off. So I guess we collect cards and it gives us like special... Uh, uh, like things we can cast. Like abilities. Which is cool. It's not a card game. Thank God. Okay, 21. We beat him. Got some experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if I want... Can I heal? Do I have like a healing item? Use my wand. 
Can't use it now. Okay. Can I pepper up potion? What does that do? Magic points. So I don't have any healing. Okay. I hope I don't die. I don't have any healing. Oh my goodness. I feel like I'm fighting Zubats in a cave and I, I want to avoid them already. Uh, let's keep using the more powerful spell and we can one shot these rats. Take zero. 22, nice, nice, good. New level, strength, defense, nice, okay. Leveled up, leveled up our character. Let's keep, let's dodge. And, all right, let's fight this. Three rats. Well, I will tell you right. I'll tell you right away. Uh, not bad so far. Um, there appears to be enough going on in this game that if I purchased it as a young, as a young lad in 2001, and put it into my Game Boy Color, I would probably get many hours out of this game. We're only in like the intro of the game. We haven't even gotten to Hogwarts yet. We haven't even met. I'm sure there's like Hermione and, and Ron and and you know Voldemort. I'm sure is the bad guy and all that because it's gonna follow the movie. So we haven't even gotten into like the, again, to Hogwarts yet. We're not even into the good part of the, the game. And I'm already like not uh, not bored and there appears to be lots that I can do. So let's keep going up. I just want to find, oh, I just want to get, I just want to find Hagrid, get to the next little part of the story and then I'll probably call it on this video because I think I get the gist of it. Um, who knows, maybe there's also more in the game. Maybe I get to like ride my broom and there's like little action scenes little action parts, who knows. Um, but just the fact that this is like a full RPG game where I can level up my character and and stuff like that is, is enough for me to, oh my God, look at that blob. How do I, I wanna get to him. Let's fight this, and he's surrounded by little blobs. Did I get him? Oh my God, it's a huge, disgusting rat who hit me for zero. So do I hit the big rat? No, I'm gonna, so let's use some strategy here, guys. We're gonna take out the little rats first, so we take less hits per turn. Take one. Take 13 damage. Holy cow. We might actually lose this. Okay, take zero. Take 20. Take 11. Oh my god, look how little damage that did. We're gonna lose to this big rat. Take 19. Zero. We need that to happen a lot. We need these zeros to keep happening. 21. 12. Oh my god, one more hit and we lose. Hang on, hang on. What does pumpkin paste do? 25 SP. Oh, okay, good. Yes, hit for zero. No cards to use. Twenty-one. Oh, we got him. We got him. All right. It's getting stressed there. I'm not gonna lie. And we leveled up too. Okay, I don't want to fight. Ugh, okay. All right. We'll just beat these. See, now I'm not scared of the bat because I already beat the sixty-two health now. So when you level up, you get quite a bit of. Uh... So will this kill him now? It's just my regular attack? Yes, okay. Let's just get to Hagrid and see what the deal is, and then and then we'll call it on this. There he is. There ye are. Ye shouldn't have dawdled behind like that. I've been looking for you everywhere. I tripped for two seconds and you just bailed and didn't look back. You got all this way and didn't even look back. Um... Okay. In the vault. This is all mine. Just bags of money. It is. Okay. Getting me ready for school. Go to the next vault, sir. I, we should hurry, Harry. Here's your money and the list of what you need to buy. Everything is on the list. Okay. $850. Sickles. School supply list. To use an item, press start. Bring up the... Yeah, I don't know how to use items. Um... See you outside here. Okay. 
All right. Thank you. What's this? You're finally inside your family vaults. It's hard to believe you never knew about it before. Okay. Um, received a card combination. Some money. Can I take the money or am I... Okay. I just have the money, right? All right. Now I guess I'm going to go back and, and probably buy more supplies and go to Hogwarts and all that. Anyways, so... A pretty cool game. I won't lie. For the Game Boy Color, again, compared to the other things that I've played, uh, such as Mortal Kombat, which is my main go-to for complaining. Um, again, you, those, there's certain games on the Game Boy Color where you start the game and within five minutes you know you've wasted your money. Uh, and this is not one of those games. I feel like this is pretty cool. Um, I would play a lot of this. Um, the the combat and stuff like that is, is nice. It's simple, but, you know, it seems like I'll be learning lots of cool spells and, and increase my, my character and all that. Um, so not bad. Um, I'm going to give Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone for the Game Boy Color an 8 out of 10. And again, that's 8 out of 10 being the, the scale is for Game Boy Color games, right? So the lowest to highest Game Boy Color games. So obviously we're not comparing it to like, you know, like the newest like PlayStation and, you know, Switch games. Um, this is on the scale of worst Game Boy to best Game Boy Color game. So uh, I'm going to go 8 out of 10. Um, that may be, may be high, I don't know, uh, I think we'll see more as I give, as I play more Game Boy Color games and give them more ratings. Um, I, I, when I played Mortal Kombat, which was, in my opinion, the worst Game Boy Color game I've played so far, I didn't give that a rating. Um, I will tell you right now that game gets a, a 1.5 out of 10, um, on my scale. So, anyways, uh, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and, uh, make sure you come back for more, uh, me playing and rating every Game Boy Color game ever made. I'll see you in the next video.